We're also working breaking news right now from the State House, where just 90 minutes ago, Governor Lincoln Chafee officially tapped U.S. Marshal Stephen O'Donnell to become the next superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police. The governor's choice comes just four days after Colonel Brendan Doherty unexpectedly announced his retirement from the department's top spot. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Tim White, who joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the breaking details. Stephen O'Donnell was clearly the governor's top choice to lead the state police. O'Donnell says he received a call from the governor's office on Thursday asking him to consider taking the job. That's the same day the current superintendent, Colonel Brendan Doherty, announced his retirement. Keeping in mind this creed, I have sought a leader. Less than a week after Governor Lincoln Chafee learns he had a vacancy at the top of the state police ranks, the governor secures a state police veteran to step up. I am proud and honored to announce to you Stephen G. O'Donnell as the superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police. Congratulations. O'Donnell spent 22 years in a state police uniform. He stepped down in 2009, then a lieutenant colonel, to become U.S. Marshal for Rhode Island. Last week, State Police Superintendent Brendan Doherty announced he was retiring in April. Doherty, who was considering a run for federal office, was chastised by Governor Chafee for speaking out on a controversial immigration program. I have a lot of respect for the governor. We uh, obviously have had some uh, differences of opinion. Uh, that's going to happen uh, from time to time. O'Donnell says under his watch, the state police will work with the federal authorities under the Secure Communities Program, which checks immigration status of those under arrest. What we will do as we progress, we will monitor that program with the Attorney General's office to make sure it's working properly like we would any program. O'Donnell worked his way from the ground up in the state police. He spent years working undercover in the intelligence unit, taking down mobsters and their associates. At one time, he posed as a bookmaker to infiltrate a lucrative gambling operation. My goal is to lead the department with integrity, pride, and honor. I will lead by example. O'Donnell will take a pay hit by accepting this job. Right now, he collects a paycheck as both U.S. Marshal and one from his state police pension. Of course, those pension payments will freeze when he once again becomes a state employee. New at 6 o'clock, I go one-on-one -on -one with Governor Lincoln Chafee and talk to him about the immigration controversy and how that played a role in this changeover. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.